Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Community Chat. My name is Karen Banda, and I am a real estate agent with Fortune Gable Real Estate here in Piedmont, Oklahoma. And today I am here with Elizabeth Moore. She is the owner um, of Red Letters Photography, and she's going to tell us kind of a little bit about herself today and how her business got started. Thanks for joining me, Elizabeth. Thank you for having me. This yeah. is honestly just a huge blessing to be here and to awesome. um, God opportunity. So um, For sure. Well, I appreciate you sitting down and chatting with me today. Um, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, where are you originally from and how did you come to Yukon? So from's a little bit of a, uh, I guess, a universal term. You have mm-hmm. to define it a different way. My dad was True. military. And okay. so, but all of my family's here in Oklahoma, so Oklahoma's kind of always been home. I okay. mean, we traveled here back and forth, um, had a long tour in Alabama, so mm-hmm. I was there for eight years, so I mean, that was my time length yes. home, and then when my dad retired, we just moved back home to be next family and Definitely. finish off school in one general area, and that's great. been here ever since. <laughs> nice. Well, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how did you get started in photography? Well, I actually didn't intend like to start it uh-huh. as a business, but it ended up just being great. I had kids okay. pretty early on, and I just loved getting to capture their moments. Like, mm-hmm. I don't want to stick a camera in their face every time, but right. I do like to capture the milestones and stuff myself, be a little creative. I've always loved like doing my creative mm-hmm. outlets and things, and so this doing this um, just kind of gives me time to be myself, an individual, and yeah. to be creative, and to really honestly to tell others about God, because... My business is Christian based, and mm-hmm. so a lot of what I do, I do want to keep it, you know, God centered. I don't yeah. lecture everybody all the time. Right. That's not what I want to do. My business is photography, but I also like to share the love of Jesus. So. That's amazing. Yeah. Yes, she was just telling me before the interview that about your um, the title of your business, which is Red Letters Photography. Yeah, uh, it's actually in the Red Letter Bible. You mm-hmm. know, God speaks, um, and it's noted as in Red Letters in the Bible. So. Just as he speaks in the Bible and it's evident in red letters, I really hope he speaks through my business. And that's that's, that's my amazing. Goal. That's that's amazing. I love that. Thank you. Um, so what drives you to do what you do? What motivates you? You kind of answered a little bit of that with this last one. But. Um, really God and my kids uh-huh. and my husband, he's a huge supporter. But, you know, that's being a photographer, too. I get to choose my schedule. Mm-hmm. So I still get to still get to be mom to my kids and be there for totally. things and get to still also be an individual and it gives me a breather to, you know, yes. do what I love to do and come back refreshed and ready for my kids and good balance. Yeah, that's good. Absolutely. Um, what would your clients say they love most about you and your pictures that you take? So far, I've actually gotten a lot of feedback about how they don't feel like everything's so posed. Mm-hmm. They say that they love that it's very easygoing and natural and flowy, which is sometimes really hard to do. True. Um, I like to get to know my people and what, what they enjoy doing and kind of how they are. And mm-hmm. I try to pose them in places that feel ways that make them feel comfortable. That's great. Um, what are some of your goals over the next year? I really just hope to go with the flow. I hope to get some more mini sessions and things Mm -hmm. like that, eventually get some more um, material to use for like outdoor backgrounds because I don't currently have this photo studio, which would be nice in the next, it's like a five-year goal. Yes. But I do want to offer some more like outdoor minis and things like that for the holidays that people can use and just get little glimpses of their lives if they don't want to do a full session. So Definitely. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Elizabeth, for sharing about your business with us. Um, I'm excited to see more of the work that you've done and get to know you a little bit more. Um, you can get to know Elizabeth more by reading the um, written interview as well that's going to be attached to this video. And we're going to include some of her work and also her links to um, her website. And so you guys can get in touch with her easily. So thank you guys for watching thank and you. tune in next time. We appreciate it.